I would say that's fair, uh, fairly accurate that we're in we're in probably the biggest uh, sea change uh, ever in the music business. I mean, prior to that, music business or the record business, there's a difference between the music business and the record business, but assuming you're talking about the record business, uh, the record business went from uh, uh, piano rolls to, uh, uh, to 78s uh, to uh, 45s to wire to tape uh, to um, uh, LPs, and from there to uh, uh, from there to CDs, and from CDs to now DVDs and uh, other aspects of high definition, uh, pro high definition of product. And it was always one step at a time. We we proceeded from one technology to the next technology. There was some overlap, but generally the new technology. Uh, uh, swamped the previous technology and we just went from one to the other and it had its ups and its downs. Now we find ourselves in, in the digital age and the digital age has allowed absolutely totally un unrestricted access to the product whereby somebody doesn't have to buy a pro piece of product. They, they can go ahead and find it on the internet in some fashion, download, or download it and take it without paying for it. And so for the first time in our industry, the companies, the artists, the producers are trying to, are trying to find out how do we get paid for our music because they're taking our music. Uh, they're taking it. They have, don't appear to have a conscience about it. And uh, uh, they're not, they don't want to pay for it. So if they don't want to pay for our product, the question is how do those in the record industry uh, well, the companies on one hand, but uh, I'm concerned with artists and I'm concerned with producers and engineers. And uh, how do they get paid? Uh, songwriters, how do they get? How are they going to get paid if everybody's taking the product? And that is what the entire industry is wrestling with right now: is the economic model, or what will be the economic model, to uh, allow artists uh, to survive uh, for the future. I'm optimistic in the following sense. I think music is being, I hate this word, consumed more than ever ever in history. More people are involved in music. And the question is, what's the ultimate model going to be? Uh, is it going to be a streaming model? Is it going to be a download model for pay? Uh, uh, I have an idea that it's going to be a combination of a few things. Uh, and I think ultimately there'll be you'll be paying money like I'm paying for my... Uh, uh, television at home, I'm paying, uh, what do you call it, uh, direct TV. I'm paying a monthly subscription, and I get almost anything I want. And we're, gonna, we're going into a VOD, uh, video on demand, or music on demand, however you want to call it, society in which uh, there'll be rates for all of this stuff, and we'll be paying it. You know, they'll, they'll make it hidden, but we'll be paying for it. And so I, I think there's a future, a big future, and that's what we're trying to work out now.